All right, this is gonna be a first for me. Never done this. I'm gonna try to shoot this on my phone while eating a Taco Bell naked egg taco. This is probably gonna be a huge mess, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I kinda of thought that the egg was gonna be a little bit rubbery. And it is, but not as bad as I thought. And if you use the little tool that comes with it, it's actually not that hard to eat. So I'm kind of impressed, but it is still a little gimmicky. Not sure I'd necessarily go with it again. Can you further explain what the heck that was that you were eating from Taco Bell? This is the official press conference. Right, yeah. He's petting to, chicken right now, but. I had to kind of go quickly in the car because I had court. I just had to, had to rush. Okay. Pull into a little parking lot and go after it. They take an actual egg, like they, I don't know how they cook it. I doubt they even cook it on site. They probably cook it in a factory somewhere and then ship it over there and freeze it and unfreeze it. But Everybody's got their theory. Like an egg wrapping, this solid egg. Wrapping like around egg. And what's so inside. Put, there's like some potatoes in there, a sauce, and some cheese. And so the egg is pretty rubbery. Not as bad as I expected because, you know, they've got to basically overcook it to get it to where it's going to have any kind of structural integrity. Can I interject something as yeah. well? So you not only use the word structural integrity, but you were also wearing a tie in yeah. your review. And so some might think, oh, he's just trying to copy a review bra. I mean, it's possible, but realistically, I actually had court that day and I had to wear a tie. Oh, okay, bub. Okay. I mean, I could see why somebody might think that. All right. But that would not be accurate. Put it in this little thing, kind of like they do, I think, with the uh, Doritos tacos, you know. So Let's you, call it a sleeve. It's a sleeve. And you can just sort of inch out the the egg taco a little bit, just enough for a bite. It was easier to eat than I expected. That was kind of my biggest fear, was that it was just going to be, how do you even hold this thing? How do you get it from... Uh-huh. Point A to point B. Right. And that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, good job on that light bulb, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. The stuff inside was really good. Mm -hmm. It's just, with an egg, I just don't know that it's possible to make a good egg that can also be a taco show. So they've got to either overcook it or they got to put some stuff in there that affects Makes the taste yeah. or something. I also tried the, what do they call it, the wrap taco or there's a, dressed. the dressed taco. Uh, which, which was? They, they basically take the gordita soft shell and they just wrap that around the, the same thing. And it's too much, it's too bready, it, it's cumbersome. Okay. I'd rather have the naked taco. I'm not saying I wouldn't get it again. It was good. It just... Not something that's gonna last. I love this shot when they do this shot on Idol and someone's singing and they go all the way around 360. <laughs> Good morning, friends. On this Tuesday, um, I just shot actually upstairs a Q&A video. And at the exact point that I was talking about being a mom, Bub brings Biddy in. He's like, she woke up early and I have to go to Rotary this morning. So that was appropriate, but people will probably think, oh man, she just staged her child to be brought in when she was talking about being a mom. But no, I legitimately feel exhausted after shooting that video. Like I feel, <sighs> I got emotional several times. It was just it's a lot of good questions. A lot of y'all just trying to dig down into my soul and really ask the deep stuff. So thank you for that. Look at this big loop. See, my hair didn't look like this in the video. This hairdo that you're currently witnessing is what happens immediately after shooting a video, like within seconds of turning off my camera. I've got to take that hair and clip it out of my face. Can't be dealing with that. Mama, mama. So Bub just wants to be the star of this vlog. Yeah. That and I haven't had time to really vlog anything so far this week, but. What's up, bub? What do you um, have to show and I tell today? I took the, probably the worst um, driver's license picture ever this past week <laughs> or week before last. Uh, do we need any backstory? Um, so they made me take my glasses off because they said it's something to do with the glare. Yeah. And so I basically couldn't see anything. <laughs> then they took one picture that my eyes were shut, apparently, so I was focusing on keeping my eyes open <laughs> or something. And, <laughs> It, it turned out bad. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I look like the biggest creep. And the first time I saw that, I said, it looks like you've just seen the biggest creep. You guy can't do you a solid and say, uh, oh, this is a god awful picture, dude. They don't care. They don't care. As long um, as your eyes are open, I guess. 
And Bub lost his Fitbit. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. It's gotta be. Hey, can I clear up some of this? Yeah. See, this is why Bub needs me around. To get the little chunks of pomade gel that's stuck in his hair. Okay. Looking good now. Sharp. All right, Bub. Well, thanks for sharing today. I'm glad I could provide a laugh at my expense. <laughs> if you test anything out at Taco Bell, why don't you whip out the camera? I will. Betty! I feel like I have been so off from vlogging this week, like I've ever been in a real routine with it, but I've had a lot of editing to do. I felt like with the first vlog and then right on the heels of that, it was it's actually quite a bit of editing when you do like a lip try on video, or at least for me, there's just a lot of video to go through with that stuff. So any like little spare chunk of time I can find, I've been working on that. And yes, I'm wearing my bunny ears today. I did shoot a video on this look for my elf video that's going up Saturday. How you doing, Bitty Bear? Yeah, you slept well last night, didn't you? I've got one extra little video project that I'm working on this week in addition to everything, so I'm just, I'm trying to get as ahead as I can be. Craft time. We're using the stamp set. She absolutely loves it. You're getting very detailed, aren't you? I asked her if she had a yellow a couple of minutes ago and she said, I suppose I do. <laughs> I'm gonna make this for you. For me? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm excited. This one's turning out really nice. Ooh, I like the swirly. I'm gonna make a little wadi there. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna make a little. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make a little to go with. There we go. And Press hard. Oh, dancing with Wally. Oh, well that's fun. Okay, so for all y'all who razzed me about having the hamburger helper last week, this week, we are doing a plated meal. It actually came in the mail and I had forgotten like to put it on hold or whatever. So anyway, um, this one's really good. We've made this in the past and it's the crunchy chicken Milanese with honey mustard and arugula. They have you mix up a little um, honey mustard on the side. So that my friends is what's for dinner tonight. Mmm, well, that's good. You remember having that in the past? I did make it. Yeah, oh, that's really good. Yeah, my bunny ears are a little off center right now, but I not only made that dinner, but I did the dishes and then I went and dried the dishes. And I just need, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I really need a pat on the back right now. Nobody's really giving it to me. So I just thought I'd get on the vlog and tell you all, hey, hard pat. Well, you deserve a very robust pat. Bub's getting razzed by all his friends about... That's the second time I've used razzed in this video, but Bub's getting razzed about his funky uh, driver's license photo. Oh, yeah. Official mm -hmm. hippo it's stamp so here. I'm just a hot mess today. You need to go potty? Do you need to go potty? I'm good for now. Oh my gosh, I want to take this opportunity while I have the camera pointed at you and I'm talking about potty. The funniest thing was the thing that's going around on Facebook saying, I gave birth in less time than it takes my husband to go number two. Twice. And yeah, I wanted to comment underneath that was, yes, I believe I've given birth twice in less time, collectively. Than one. Than one of my times. Than one of your potty episodes. Why does it take so long? I, I guess because I don't have an epidural. Maybe if I had anesthesia or something. <laughs> no, no. Here's Co the thing. I mean coaching, coaching. If people didn't take their phones into the potty with them, they wouldn't spend as much time there. Here to say. That's probably true. But then there's magazines and. You know. No, we don't have any magazines. So in that's there. just because we have our phones. So. All right. Well, if you just cold turkey stop taking your phone in there there would be nothing to read except like the bottom of the kleenex box I mean, if we just didn't have television we'd probably read a lot more books but it's the life we live um excuse me what are you doing what are you doing back here playing playing
guys, I am soaking wet. I had to get groceries. It's been raining heavily all week here. Not a pleasant day to be loading groceries back into your car. Please, please tell me how dewy do I look right now? <laughs> Especially with some hair plastered to my forehead. At least I did not happen to be lugging two kids around in this while getting groceries. Mom and dad are with them right now. I also ran in, okay, maybe it's letting up a little bit now. Yeah, right after I get the groceries loaded into my car. Um, but I went by Barnes and Noble to get a few books for their Easter baskets. And we have a lot of books, you know, we do at our house. However, it's one of those things where you look at what are they into? What are they really taking off with? Both girls just love to look at books. And that's gonna be something that I wanna encourage as much as I possibly can. So between two kids, I read a lot of books, do them every day. So mama doesn't mind having a little new material to go through, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys have picked up any of those Sandra Boyton books. I think that's her name, the author. She does the books like about Pookie and the little like kind of cartoonish looking animals and stuff. Oh, that really narrows it down. Children's books with cartoonish looking animals. Eve can't get enough of those books. We have like maybe three or four and we just, I read them on repeat. I have them all memorized. I could tell you them by heart. A cow says moo, a sheep says ba. Three singing pigs say la la la. But anyways, I got those for her and I got some cool looking um, phonics books. For Bill. Just doing a little little play makeup here. Can you show me what you have? Oh. <laughs> Bub took Bell to gymnastics tonight, so now me and little bit have some time to hang out here. What do we have in this makeup bag anyway? Looks like some princess stuff there. This is so cool. This brand um, baby face makeup makes such good realistic looking play makeup. I mean, look at that. It's a total eyeshadow palette, but it's all just, you know. Uh. And it's textured really cool too, but obviously it's just play makeup. Oh, are you giving me some? Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Can you put it on my face? Oh, very good. Get, rub it in. Oh, just like that, everybody. That's how you do it. Thank you. Can you use a brush on mommy? Oh, good. Good. Yes. Can you put some glitter on me? Okay. Very good. Dep, 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 dep. What do you think about that? Oh. After his fired you use that on your cheeks or on your lips? There you go, on your cheek. Blend back to the ear, yes. <laughs> Benefit sends a wanted sign. It says, uh, guilty of looking too good. I know you all were about to accuse me of that, but um, we got these Gold Rush products here, a mini and a full size. Ooh, look at that texture in there. Looks like it's some sort of goldeny highlight finishing powder maybe. Tart is launching a powder sunscreen. I'm actually very excited to try that, but of course they sent it along with this dusted and done Black & Decker, I don't know, duster little hand vac thing. It says Peep Our IG for our newest launch Sunday, April 1st, and it's a box of Peeps. Who's gonna help me eat these? Hey, what are you snacking on right now? Mangoes. They look like little bunny rabbits.
cartoon action. Some more formal than others here. Some of us have dresses on and some of us are PJs. <laughs> so should we just call these little things the, the Van Chronicles or I don't know. Um, it's again Saturday morning. Um, I posted my video, my big elf video. Loads of products talked about in there. So if you've been curious about any sort of newer elf releases, definitely check that out. I'm going to Target because I need some last minute things for Easter. I also need some last minute things for travel because I have something very exciting coming this next week. I'm so pumped. I'm going to Houston as a guest of Makeup Revolutions to the Ulta GMC. It's the General Managers Conference for Ulta. So it's a huge event. They basically invited me to go with them. So I'm going and I am super pumped up about that, but I do need to get just some flight friendly travel things, little mini things for my carry on bag. I also ordered a new um, carry on bag that'll be here soon, hopefully Monday. But yeah, just lots of stuff to get prepared for. Gotta go to Target. <laughs> Well, we were hoping to see a little wildlife out here at Campus Lake, but the wildest life, I believe, are those two. And it started raining. It started out just being a beautiful day, like a gorgeous sunny day, and then nap time happened and... Nap time ruined it. Woo! Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Those must be for both you and Biddy. Is that her basket? Put your ears on and show. Oh. 